everybody, and welcome to uh, Docu Commentary, where we watch a documentary and we commentate along with us. Uh, in my, I'm I'm one of your hosts, and my name is uh, well, it's Travis Nelson. Well, <laughs> well, what do you know? Well, <laughs> it just so happens to be, guys. I'm Chase Myers. There he is. How are yeah. you, man? I, mean, I am super Chase Myers. I am super fucking pumped for this documentary. This one, yeah, yeah. This one I'm excited about. Travis mentioned uh, we're gonna our, get a lot of hate about. Yeah, this. Travis mentioned our YouTube fans are gonna be pretty upset about this because uh, a lot of people stumble into our videos thinking they're about to watch a bootlegged version of the documentary they're looking up but yeah. no they get us yeah. <laughs> they, and this is i mean i have to imagine this is the worst thing to hear yeah. when you want to be watching a documentary <laughs> you want to see yeah. is just me being like fucking up the intro to this stupid podcast yeah. <laughs> but uh no this is a rare time where a documentary we're gonna watch is actually like like popular right now yeah. the guys are doing it we, so we've is, never yeah. paid enough attention or worked hard enough to have that happen before yeah <laughs> and so, as you know, we go into this with our same know nothing. <laughs> yeah, we we <laughs> about the. Sometimes we've at least watched them once or so. This one, we both just are going in fresh. So yeah, we're, we decided not to. Even we're talk discovering. To you're gonna hear us discovering it as it goes. So don't. I mean, if you get mad, that's fucking on you. Okay, like don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might want to watch it on your own so you can hear the this shit and the then come back to us. That's that's how you should treat our show. This isn't how you you can't listen to this and you know what we're doing this for fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is for about us guys. You want to come on along with us? That's fine. But you don't you you start criticizing. I'm not taking criticism for no damn dirty docu commentary. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. the last person. I, I love you, be. but let's not pretend you're not dirty. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, God, we did it, the last one of these we did it was like two weeks ago. So I guess in the meantime, a lot of stuff happened. We did the JFL audition, man. Yeah. 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 Okay, so you got to talk about your audition, right? Didn't you mention that you were going to get to do it, or at least whenever you did your dates that you were going to do it? Uh, I think so, yeah. Okay. So since then, <laughs> I was I did not have an audition. I Travesty. Yeah, and, uh, and I went to the Tacoma auditions just to be a good, just a good guy. Just I was like, good I'm going gonna, gonna to go, I'm going to watch my friends, and cheer for them or whatever and hopefully they'll at least acknowledge me for next year coming back or they'll be like yeah and i'll be damned if fucking somebody didn't make it and i got a tap i can't stress to you enough how much (laughs) i didn't ask for this i know man i I didn't i didn't i didn't go in there going (laughs) somebody get me on this showcase i was i was completely happy with just watching the just laugh showcase yeah and uh pat wilson uh came up to me and said hey get five minutes together you're on the showcase and love me some pet and a goal that i've had since i've started comedy of auditioning for just for laughs happened in uh, in seconds i was it was happening immediately yeah. a- and it was yeah it was insane i don't even know i mean me and you were talking about just how crazy it was you've known that you got it for about a month or so yeah and uh and just the excitement but it, it all happened at once. I had no time to even like try to fuck it up. It mm-hmm. just, I just had to go up and it went well. I was like super happy about it, dude. I, I, uh, I, I cannot believe that happened that way. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's awesome, man. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I went down and did it in Portland and it was, uh, it was actually really cool to go down and do it in po- Portland because I haven't, uh, I've worked for Heliums before, but not the Portland Helium. Yeah. And so Yeah, that that one is I don't know very many people that work there. Man, right? it's a really cool spot. And like it's really I think it's very supportive of the local comedians because they had a bunch of like local shows and stuff all up all over the walls and mm-hmm. it's a helium, so they're kinda cool clubs anyway. And uh yeah, it was packed. Like I got to do it with a lineup full of Portland comedians who like a lot of them I met like four or five years ago, but I forgot that I had met them and mm-hmm. we're both completely different people now, so like, right. I didn't realize. Uh so yeah, there was kind of a lot of that, which is kind of cool. And uh, Caitlin Warehouser hosted the thing, which is great because uh, it was good to see her again. She moved down to L.A. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, and I, you know, Killers. Everyone. That's what was crazy. Everyone had such great sets. It was you weren't. That was even, the same experience of mine. Yeah, you everybody killed. There was no point in being nervous about how you're going to do because it's just like it's just going to go well. Yeah, it's, yeah. The audience. Uh, um, it sounds like we had like similar thing. Was I mean, our, our audience was like hot. Like yeah. they, they were ready. They knew what was up, and uh, yeah, it was just go, go fucking do this awesome thing, man. It, it was really cool. Yeah, it was a really good. It was a really fun experience. 
And then I had to, uh, I'm an idiot, so of course, I did that in Portland, and then I had to drive back that night. I got back at like 1.30, mm-hmm. and I had to leave for the airport at like 3.30, <laughs> so I just didn't sleep it, and then, because uh, I can't sleep on an airplane, flew all the way to Des Moines, just out of my mind, wearing the same clothes, went up at the club, because <laughs> my flight got delayed like an hour and a half, I just like went up, and uh, man, I had a great weekend, though, because... Um, I was working with uh, Tony Baker, and he's just that amazing. Be so funny. Oh man! I worked with him once at the uh, Bourbon Comedy Festival. Yeah, we were on a show together, and yeah, he's. I mean, I was just watching him do five minute sets. So I mean, I can't imagine you got to watch him for an hour. That oh. must have been. Oh man, he's so funny. Yeah, everything he says is funny. Um, so yeah, that was like a that was a cool weekend. Although, man, <laughs> yeah, that was that was a that was an amazing weekend. But uh, it was so cold. I tried to leave the hotel, and I thought I was going to freeze to death. Like, I, I had, like, a panic moment where I was like, this is it, Travis. <laughs> this is what you did to yourself. You thought you could walk 10 minutes to this gas station, but it turns out <laughs> it's, like, negative three. And I was out of my mind because I just all the day I did all that travel and yeah. sleep. And I just, I don't know, it was stupid. Just No, dude, whenever I was in Appleton, uh, Wisconsin, like, a month or two ago, I, I ordered everything. Everybody's yeah. coming to me. The club is picking me up and bringing me there. I will not do a single. <laughs> I will not drive a single thing. I will not walk out there. Yeah, man. That uh, keep me keep me covered at all times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought. I mean, that was just me trying to be uh, an adventurous dumbass. I think. I think. Uh, just dipshit. I just wanted to do something. Yo, big dipshit moment. Uh, and uh, yeah, I was so cold. I thought I had frostbite. That's the thing with frostbite. I realized when I was that, out out in the cold, I was like, you really. You don't know if you have it <laughs> until after. Until, after uh, you know okay. what I mean? Like, it's like a sunburn. You just... <laughs> oh, really? I yeah, was like, I, I was don't, I don't through. Ex- I've never experienced. And, the, like, you know, the fronts of my legs and, like, parts of my face were, like, so cold. And I just, like, couldn't feel anything. And I was like, <laughs> oh, man, I don't know. I've Ugh. I've been that cold before one time. I was in Peace River, Alberta. And it was, like, negative 23 degrees before wind chill. So it was just probably like negative 50 with it. God, this is blowing my mind. Oh, I had no idea. <laughs> I would have just thought like, well, I die. This is the, this is how I die. Yeah, it's kind of because uh, I have that stupid thing in my brain. I think it's just because I'm like a giant dude. So my whole life, I just kind of stumble around and think, eh, it'll probably be fine. Mm. <laughs> like it just, uh, <laughs> and I thought, uh, I, I always think like it's not going to be a big deal. So I'll just hop out wearing like jeans in a in a sweatshirt and it'll like at that temperature it just literally cuts through your clothes like you can just feel it just just go up see because to, to me jeans and a jacket is enough to, like that yeah. should cover you everywhere so nah, the man. fact that that's not enough somewhere, some places being chilled to the bone it, is a real thing yeah it just it goes right insane to your bones. that you do you what are you wearing two jackets <laughs> no you better get three what are you doing <laughs> Some yeah. long johns and other one. There's probably warm stuff I don't even know about. I don't even know, like <laughs> <laughs> warm stuff I don't even know. Yeah, about. dude. I, hand warmers is probably a big deal. Yeah. I imagine. So it was cold as hell. Just taped to their body. <laughs> just average. Just. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, and there's still some asshole walking around in shorts. You yeah. Piece of shit. Oh, there always is. There was, yeah. There was a guy at the airport when I was leaving who was wearing sandals. Oh. And I was like, I hate you so. I much. I hope you lose your toe. Yeah, I hope you I hope lose you your big toe. I hope you do. I hope you lose your big toe and you can't balance. Just That's dress for the weather, <laughs> <laughs> or lose your big toe. That's what I say. Um, yeah, man. But uh, it's good to be back. We got a uh, big show coming up. This next week, actually, this Saturday, yeah, um, February second. Yeah, we got a show at the F- uh, Flood Valley Brewery in uh, Chehalis, and man, that's going to be a crazy show. It's you, me, and Vanessa Dawn. Uh, so she's going to be Killers. Oh, barn burner, and uh, yeah, if you're around the area, you should come check it out because that one's going to be that's going to be a great show. And then um, next week we got a show Wednesday, and oh, when we're both on the show, sorry, this Wednesday. Uh, which is uh, January 30th. Uh, we're on Seattle's Best at the Comedy Underground. Yeah. Um, the day you're listening to this has to be. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. There's no way I'm eating this out by tomorrow. That was okay. stupid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> welcome to the podcast, everybody. <laughs> uh, no, and then uh, Wednesday we're at Hoquiam at the Hoquiam Brewery, and that one's going to be February 6th. I, I think that one almost might be sold out already. Uh, it's got to be close. Yeah, you heard that? Yeah, but get your tickets. Uh, and then... Um, 
We've got another one that Thursday at lowercase. Which February 7th. That's where we've been doing it. This is actually you, me, and Aaron. It's just a recreation of the first the show. The very first there. show they did that. Yeah, that's a sold out, just crazy killer time. So that one's going to be fun. Um, and then uh, I'm on uh, Don't Don't Tell on uh, on that Friday. Oh, sorry. No, the f- I'm so stupid. That Friday is the Woodby Island Winery. I'll be performing there. I'll be co-headlining with uh, Bo Johnson. And then Saturday the 9th, I'll be doing Don't Tell in uh, in Seattle. And with the way Don't Tell works is you have to ask them where it's going to be, and then they'll tell you. So. Yeah, they email it to you. <laughs> you buy a ticket, they email it to you. I'm yeah. doing it February 23rd, mm-hmm. uh, so I'm also doing that later. Cool. Yep. Uh, I don't know. February on Valentine's Day, I'm doing Gig Harbor a show out there in Gig Harbor, Washington, a place called Oceans uh, Five. Uh, the fifteenth and sixteenth, I'm at the Edmonds Center for Arts, uh, nice. in Edmonds with uh, Carmen Pio, and a great event that he puts on there, uh, which we're having like a weird like VIP meet and greet thing where like. I don't know. People want to meet us for some reason before the <laughs> show, which is the, you want to meet people, too? which is the craziest thing. Well, it's crazy that they that part of whatever I guess their ticket pricing or something is to talk to Chase Myers, the co-host uh, of Donkey Commentary, yeah. a very famous podcast. That's right. Yeah, yeah. it's just uh, this is a weird thing. I fucking did. Uh, I, I did a meet and greet with Burt Kreischer, who I don't respect, and uh, <laughs> and it was oh man, it was You're so funny. That out there. Uh, dude, I uh, no, I actually I think he's a funny guy. I just I've never cared much for a stand up, but I do listen. To, I, fuck him, man. I, I went to a show. <laughs> I went to a show. I can say what I want. I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> yeah, my. My buddy, I got a friend of mine that moved out to Seattle, and uh, he he likes him, and he uh, <laughs> he he invited me to go. And then Bert does this crazy thing where he sells raffle tickets, and uh, it's not a crazy thing; it's a really cool thing. He sells instead of you spending extra money to meet him, he basically sells raffle tickets. They pick like twenty five people or whatever, and then they auction them. Then the money that they raise, they give it out in six hundred dollar increments to just whoever they pull from whatever. So basically, you're either about to meet him or you could walk out with six hundred bucks. Like, it's, I mean, huh. that's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so uh, it was just funny because, uh, I mean, I don't know. Me and you watched a special one time, and I just shit all over it the whole time. <laughs> and then to like be backstage waiting to take a picture with him. It was like just so <laughs> it couldn't be wasted on oh, anybody man. else. Uh but I did I learned a lot, you know, obviously I'm <laughs> I did learn a lot. Did. I did learn a lot watching him though cuz you I mean you do you I watched him fucking perform in front of 1500 people in a theater like it's, you know. <laughs> Oh man, my jokes don't involve <laughs> shit and dicks that much. That's the only that's that's the base issue. That's it. His we live very different, not shitty, <laughs> d- dick lives. I don't oh know. boy. Uh, yeah, so that was that was super fun. But. Chase has had a rough night. He had to, uh, he almost used a, a washer that had some shit in it. Yeah, I'm I'm real stuck on people who <laughs> like shit, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's very anti shit. Yeah, I'm very anti shit, man. We strong stance. Yeah, third floor of our apartment building. Uh, we have the washer and dryer. We got to fucking share it. And uh, yeah, I went in there the other day, and I don't. Somebody must have shit on the walls or something. It just smelled like <laughs> nothing but shit everywhere. And uh, and I just know that some baby shit his pants. And they put it in that washer or dryer, and that's why it smelled that way. And so <laughs> I'm never gonna use, I'm never gonna use the third floor one again. Yeah, uh, man. But if it's in the dry, the washer, I mean, it's gonna get washed. Oh yeah, that's that's how that's how you wanna live your life is. <laughs> it's, it's just, oh man, I'm not putting, <laughs> I'm not putting my clothing <laughs> anywhere that shit was. But it's a washer. It was shit. I don't care. It's shit in there. <laughs> but, I mean, what happens? You think? I I am very sure that there's also been shitty pants washed in the second floor one as well. <laughs> I just I just didn't experience it whenever First I walked thing, in. I walked in, I smelt it. You looked in went, the eyes, and I went, "Nope, <laughs> I'm never using this one." It was good third floor, but I guess I'm gonna have to walk down one. Which, by the way, uh, 20 minutes into this, I'm gonna have to walk <laughs> to that dryer to get it. Yeah, uh, uh, I mean that that's gonna happen. You mean 20 uh, minutes from now? Yeah, probably. Oh, okay. I mean, it'll be fine. I can edit 
Uh, oh yeah, I'll no, do no, very, no. the very bare minimum I can. To Absolutely, make this work. guys. You know, yeah. This uh, is we're really fucking this up already. Like this is going to be the one everyone wants to watch, and we uh, we're gonna no, we're gonna do hour before. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> all right, man. Well, we're oh, but hey, no. Oh, what you got stuff? All yeah, right. we're gonna keep talking. Come on. Okay. We're all gonna right. stop just like that. We're gonna let a bunch of dirty docu commentarians <laughs> bully us around. <laughs> no, Chase. This is our living room. <laughs> 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 they do not get to come in here and tell us what to do. No oh, man. Um, no, I wanted to bring up. We got to, we got some fan art that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I can't live that lie. It was my girlfriend. She made it. <laughs> I wasn't gonna bust you, man. <laughs> yeah, I was man gonna, yeah. It makes us look cooler if it wasn't. But I mean, she, it doesn't uh, matter. Yeah, she made a really cool. Uh, it's like a cross stitching. I'll put it up on Instagram and Facebook or whatever. Um, when I post the uh, the episode, but uh, yeah, it's just a cool cross stitching. It says, "What's the word, baby bird?" It's got a little baby bird on a branch. It's amazing. It's perfect. It's one of my favorite. Yeah, it's, yeah, we got to we got to hang up it up on the in wall. Here. It's going on the stack of art that we have not put up on the wall. Yeah, you know what I like about it is that we can keep it up when we do acid. We, uh, <laughs> we don't yeah, have to, that's gonna we be. We have to take that down. The uh, we don't do acid, guys. The um, we can't get it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have that scary clown picture that we had to take down. Yeah, we did. We did. Someone gave us acid one time, and we took it and. Uh, the only piece of art we have on our <laughs> wall. <which is laughs> we meant to put the rest of it up, guys. It does look really creepy. It's a fucking um, there's just one, and it's, it's kind of a it's a sad. It's clown a nightmare clown. I got from my grandma. It's a good. I liked it when I was a kid, but now that I'm an older person, it like means a lot to me. But it also doesn't look great. I we, like I like the way it looks. It just has no place in here. While I'm <laughs> no no no, no acid. You can't have a sad clown when you're in your acid. Yeah. That's like what acid is. <laughs> it just. Takes you to that place. Yeah. Um, yeah, but uh, anyways, since we discussed it on the art, uh, what is the word, you little baby bird? Oh, what man. Is it? Guys, I'm excited. So we're going to watch uh, the Fire documentary. Damn uh, right. Fire, the greatest party that never was. We're going to watch the Netflix one this week, and next week we're going to watch the Hulu one, Yo. which will be the first time we ever watched a documentary not on Netflix. But we figured this was, you know, I mean, two of them came out at the same time. Wait, is it really? Huh? Did yeah. we do uh, one of those like animal documentaries when we first started on? No. Nah. That's what I wanted this podcast to be, by the way. I just wanted As it to animal be... documentaries? Oh, animal oh I know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, you can still pick them, man. You ran out of steam I on know. It. I just yeah. I realize it's not great for people to listen to. <laughs> this is a sacrifice I'm making for you guys, so I hope you appreciate that. I got to watch all my animal documentaries on my own time. <laughs> That's good, man. Save something for How yourself. How will I know what happens to the caimans, Chase? <laughs> <laughs> Save something for yourself, man. That's good. <laughs> Save your own moment. So, yeah, uh, we're watching a uh, fire documentary. I can't wait. I, 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 This is one that I've been, like, really excited for us to record just because I've wanted to watch it every day since it came out. Uh, all right, so let's get going. Uh, we're going to start it. And three, two, one, play. That thing's going. Six seconds, seven seconds, eight seconds. Boom, got it. Oh, this is annoying, but I, I did mention him. Uh, mention this. I mean to mention this. Uh, Get in. If you, uh, if you wanted to watch an episode of ours that got taken down, because I've had to start taking them off the website, uh, you can catch it on YouTube. So there. Ah, uh, Jason Bell. Sorry, bro. <laughs> oh, boy. We're going to kill a lot of people. We're going to strand them. <laughs> Ooh. I'm just not the kind of guy who goes for that. Like, you'll never catch me at Burning Man. No one tells me when to party. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be damned if I buy a ticket to party. Uh, I'll party right now. I don't need. Yeah. What am I going to wait? <laughs> I've never heard about this. You never heard about it? I mean, I don't think so. Really? No. I mean, this is only like a year ago, a year or two ago. Did I just space it out? Oh, yeah, dude. I remember all about that. 
So you don't know how much Ja Rule's involved in this? Do you realize that I know, Ja Rule I've is seen a major tweets character? I've about Ja Rule, but okay. I don't know anything about it. Oh, please let me see some dipshits' lives get ruined. Oh, man. You have. God, that's so crazy. You don't even really remember that. Because, no, yeah. I don't. The. Uh, what does this guy's deal? I think that's old dude's dad. Oh. <laughs> they interviewed his dad. <laughs> yeah, because Buddy's in jail, so. <laughs> <laughs> his dad's like, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> Okay, Ja Rule. Involved pretty early. What the fuck? Yeah, it sounds like it's on your end, Ja Rule. <laughs> <laughs> Man, just get an email out there, bro. I mean, guys, your website doesn't have like a book me out or like a contact. Yeah, thing. yeah. It just seems like ja if Rule. I email ja Rule at jawrule dot com, <laughs> will I not be talking to you, ja Rule? Because <laughs> I believe I will be. <laughs> I mean, it does sound like a good idea. That guy in his Nirvana shirt and his haircut and his beard, he looks like if you had to come up with just like, name four ways that a hipster would look. look name four ways that a guy who works at a social media platform works. Yeah, man. He's a creative hipster. Yeah. How drunk is Ja Rule? <laughs> is that just what this is? Okay, so this is the event producer, not his dad. I mean, man, how do you not do this right, though? Is he wearing a scarf, too? <laughs> man, you got to get over. <laughs> you got to get over. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Uh, does Ja Rule's chest tattoo say Hitman, and the A in Hitman is the AAA logo? I'll have to look. I'm sure players. that's not the last time we'll see him shirtless. So. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe here. <laughs> what? <laughs> you fucking asshole. He has no idea how bad it's about to go. And he's talking about <laughs> how he's going to say <laughs> <laughs> Magic Johnson and Larry Bird <laughs> saved the NBA from going bankrupt. <laughs> they they were about to go out of business until Magic Johnson. And this is the beginning. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> we're gonna, festivals are going to be completely different from this moment on. Because I met this white dude that has a fucking island. Yeah, why didn't this work? I, I mean, it doesn't get better than Fuck Jerry. I yeah. Know that. <laughs> That's just a good name. <laughs> it's murder. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be so fun for you. Oh, dude. I mean, I think that's all you need. You own the place. Yeah, what happened? Set up a stage and <laughs> some chairs and get it catered, you assholes. I, I don't understand. <laughs> this guy's like, Best yeah. day of his life, man. Yeah. Yeah, I am. All right, now let's be real. Oh, I hate this. Why's that guy wearing sunglasses? Oh, I'm so glad you captured everything. <laughs> <laughs> we filmed everything so you can see exactly how we ripped you off. Oh, wow. This is amazing. Look how stressed Ja Rule is. I don't ever want to see Ja Rule so stressed. <laughs> Well, he's the best for it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, we got to shoot the pigs. This is important footage. Uh, Jaw rolls just in there fucking this whole thing up, isn't he? Wait, why are there why advertise pigs for a party? They're just trying to make it seem fucking like this amazing, you know, but how does luxurious a pig place. swimming help. Man, you know I white girls, yeah, a bunch there. of a bunch of party girls are going to be all excited about the cute little pig at the uh, beach. That's a big pig though. Oh, well, I mean, it's a full-size yeah. pig. <laughs> I thought they were hiding in the boat because the pig was so scary. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that might be. That might. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, man. Oh, he changed. Oh, man. Good boy. Oh, that was tough. Ah. <laughs> Listen to Chance? Okay. 
All of this just because Ja Rule didn't have an email. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't do inboxes. Share it off again. Let's see it. They're like, okay, now they got drunk and they want me to get naked. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I'm starting to think this isn't on the level. Bruh, I just don't want to have to manufacture such, like a good time like that. No. That's so gross about like social media stuff for like to have like if you're trying to put your brand out there as being like that big like that, like dude, you gotta be such a gross yeah. person about every moment in your life. Yeah, it's you not gotta worth stop it. your friends look, of what they're, they're doing and go all posing, man. How like how bad Yeah, and go, Hey, do this again. I did I did a show. I'm, so Corey Michaelis, I, I did that show with him a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And uh and they uh the uh condo they put us in had shit ton of alcohol and whenever i saw it i was like oh fuck off and i was like all <laughs> i was like upset because i was yeah. like god damn it there's no way i'm not gonna drink all this yeah i'm gonna be fucking shitty for the show and i went on this like long rant about it and then he was like dude you gotta do it again and then he started recording me and then i was like oh, uh, no <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i uh yeah it's i i can't i can't do that Pigs. Man, they didn't know there'd be a full size pig swimming. <laughs> I didn't even know pigs swam. There's a yacht with the same seven people on it. Imagine you just get a sunburn the first day. <laughs> <laughs> take yeah. me. I'd be like, guys, uh, I'm really itchy. <laughs> can you take me back? <laughs> can we get that cartoon character to fly me home? <laughs> <laughs> I've been I was Na- like, I've been to Nassau, by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, one of the, sp- the spots they stop for like. Wait, I stuff. missed how much they just said they paid. There. Oh, god damn. That's alright. Oh man. God damn. That's a lot for fucking weekend, bro. Yeah. Man. I mean, it was right there. Ja, where'd you go wrong, man? Yeah. It was right there for you. Just couldn't stop smoking cigars and <laughs> petting <laughs> pigs and taking his shirt off. 
orchestrating real moments. <laughs> hey, bro, how, <laughs> how dare you look so much like me? <laughs> Shit, man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I just love it's like, is Ja Rule the smartest guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <In the room. laughs> Is this important to you? <laughs> I like he's the first dude that's like, no, like people are for real coming here. Like we, they can't all shit in your house and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man. What? Oh, boy. Well, I've been playing it for cruise ships. They didn't even like try it. Guess what, dude? Tents, bro. Going with the tents. Good for him. Yeah. We're going full speed with no plan, okay? That's what we're going with. Yeah. Bought this sweater. Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say it if you weren't. <laughs> of course, I'm going to mention it. Music festival consultant. Man, they must have been. That is true. They must have been so excited on the way there. Yeah. And then Forty-five days. Step up, Samuel. <laughs> Time to step up, bro. <laughs> Blink-182 was there? Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, that's basic. Yeah. Man, if only there was like an artist there. 
that has ja that has performed at what concerts and dude, I know for a fact what Fifty Cent's favorite documentary is. It's this. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> it is this one. Most exclusive credit card. What? <laughs> Was that Jermaine Dupri? <laughs> Does Ja Rule just look like Jermaine Dupri there? Yeah. <laughs> Man, he was sold. He was sold everything, bro. Oh man, he's, he's, his eyes got so he's, big. He's he believed. There's a documentary of him getting pyramid schemed. Yeah. Yeah, you thought we'd want to come hang out with you, bro. Thought your life was gonna be so cool that. I was like, man, I got to hang out with that guy. That dude knows Ja Rule. And only Ja Rule. <laughs> he doesn't know any other cool person. Yeah, dude. it's just Ja Rule. But Ja Rule is on board. <laughs> ja Rule is fully <laughs> in, dude. Yeah, yeah, he's not getting him. a half-assed Ja Rule. He's getting all Ja. Yeah. Yeah, this will be devastating for you while I guess watching this. <laughs> Turns out they can't do it there. Well, guess what, bro? It's all on you now. <laughs> I whisper to Billy. Not enough. Oh, man. I'm hearing a lot of... There's a lot of excuses on your end, bro. I yep. think uh, I think you can pull it off. I think it's that guy's Nirvana shirt that bothers me. This guy has been through therapy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, he got he went through so much. He's so young. Yeah, too young. You know, everybody wanted to be Pablo Escobar. Yeah, I don't understand that. I'm not trying to be Pablo. Everybody wants to, bro. Everybody. Everybody. Do man. you? Yeah, dude. Of course. <laughs> of course, man. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm going to Fry Fry Festival, dude. <laughs> they doing it. Going right now. It's gonna work this time. Yeah. They learn see, they learned from all their mistakes this time. Mm -hmm. And That's so now it's was. so now it's gonna actually be great. Smart people always get tickets the the second time. And you can't fool Ja Rule twice. I know nope. that. That's a rule. <laughs> That's a law of nature. <laughs>
Oh, that poor guy. Man. Yeah. See How is that a problem? His eyes were so wide. He's like, <laughs> can you believe it? It's like when I found out about it, I couldn't believe it, but I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> New Orleans got plumbing, at least. Oh, man. Are we calling him a singer? Sing for me, Ja. <laughs> Sing me something, Ja Rule. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm super sorry about that. Yeah. I mean, I just... just I just can't take any more apologies from you. Uh, I know. <laughs> five years? I didn't realize how funny that was now that we've seen so much more. <laughs> I like this guy. This guy keeps it real. Did you though? Oh man. Oh, this is amazing. Oh. Wow. <laughs> just can't catch a break. Damn. Poor rich guy. They did zero research. Yeah, just I mean they weren't even planning on doing it on that island, I'm sure, so like Oh, fuck. This one's got some kind of cool holiday on this. <laughs> <laughs> they got a better party already oh, happening. Oh, fuck. <laughs> They've been playing this one forever. Yeah. yeah we got Blink-182. You want Tom DeLong to get high on pills and yell at you about aliens? He'll do it. Yep. I've seen it. Pay extra $100,000. He'll do it. He'll do it, <laughs> <laughs> He'll do it. <laughs> He'll do it personally. Well, I don't see any problems. What are they going to do? Post it online and influence people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that is true at that point. It's like, no, for real, man. Uh, they're coming. I'm not telling them shit's not yeah. going to work out before it's coming. Yeah. That guy grows up to be the kind of guy where, like, he seems like he has the weight of the world on his shoulders, but then you find out what happened, and you're like, you idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I feel nothing for you. Oh, Billy. I like this guy. Yeah, this guy's. He moves things along here. Uh huh. He's a he's a gumshoe. Hold on. I got that Yelp review is pretty pumped that his uh <laughs> his review got highlighted in this documentary. Yeah. Damn right, I've been doing good work on Yelp for a while. <laughs> it's not, about time we get some recognition. Oh the pigs. Oh, don't forget the pigs. Yeah. 
Yeah, hang on, guys. I care about you. Yeah, twenty-three-year-old couldn't negotiate. <laughs> yeah, get him. That was a pretty soft move. <laughs> you get two likes on that, buddy. <laughs> People did not care. It was two. So not, <laughs> it was, let's be clear, it was two. Uh, so not quite the influencer, are you there, sir? It's no, not as, he's not an influencer, you see. That is asking a lot, man, uh, to just like, uh, to create, a Twitter account that's not like you like how do you get people to follow it yeah. for you to be <laughs> breaking this big story yeah this is a guy who's been booking social media influencers being like these idiots have it so easy <laughs> 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 he tries it once and I'm totally not on their side Yeah. Well, I mean, you got the tent, so I don't understand. Yeah, what else is there? What could go wrong from there? Man. You know, there was just still one guy who showed up there who was like, yeah, well, my motto is you get a tent, well, money spent. <laughs> <You're just like laughs> one dude was really happy about it. This is kind of nice. Pretend to have fun. This is yeah. pretty cool, actually. They were stalking you, bro. Yeah. There's no happen. coincidence there. Yeah, you don't just run into each other in the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> What's the problem? Not me. I'm very sorry. This is the first time I've ever done this. Yeah, um, he's getting chewed out hard right now. <laughs> that is a man who loves Legos. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell that's a Lego oh, man. Oh, man, you, that is a Lego man <laughs> for sure. I like her a lot too. That's a killer line. Yeah. How must it have felt to be one of these guys and that dude's just tanking your company? Yeah, he's hanging out with Ja Rule. <laughs> he's been drunk for three months. What? <laughs> well, that's a good situation. <laughs> Jesus. 
Jeepers, Billy. Oh. Ah, jeez, Billy. Jeepers, Bill. <laughs> you really step in it this time, Bill. Ah, shucks, man. Golly. I did a really good Adam Carolla impression here the first time we watched. Yeah. It was really good. Yeah. <laughs> I dare you to say otherwise. <laughs> I'm not doing it again. <laughs> just it wasn't very good. Oh, dude, no. This is such a bad idea. Yeah, but, dude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You don't have that, do you? Jeez, Bill. <laughs> oh, Bill. Golly, Bill. Amazing. <laughs> so it worked out better than the Twitter account. Yeah. Got us a rat, boys. Yep. Who talking? I'll kill you. I'm sorry. I mean... <laughs> I wanted to have footage of that meeting and just have Ja Rule walking around behind him. Oh, just man. <laughs> <laughs> I just show him that picture. I'd look at that picture of him dressed as fucking Grease in that music video. <laughs> 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 like, remember when you were dancing around with Jennifer Lopez, you fucking asshole? Get oh, boy. Oh, man. Well, it's pretty nice, right? How mad? Yeah, yeah, they're just the one, dude. Because, <laughs> man, it's going to happen. A luxury villa will pop up in Get 17 on days. I'm bored with it. Solutions. Oh, this guy. He's so excited. There you go. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it just three grand. Pocket change, my friend. Pocket change. Fill your pockets up with change. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Put it on the wrist. I can't wait to see the food, man. You teased me on the food. Oh, the food thing's hilarious. <laughs> she bullied me. <laughs> <laughs> she said, Give me a couple of them jet ski things. God damn. Who are these people? Yeah. Who are these people doing this shit just to take cool Instagram pictures? Man, here's the thing. I feel like when people say millennials, it means two different things. And this is one version of what people mean when right. they say millennials. Yeah, this is yeah. This is whenever they're like negative. This is kind of what they're thinking. This is like that generation with money. Yeah. 
Whereas we, my friend. <laughs> Hey, man, don't mention that there's problems t to people we're trying to get money from. Yeah. How are we going to rip them off if you tell them we're ripping them off? Six million dollar contract. What an <laughs> asshole. Man, you already had a food service. Just fucking fired him because you're a dick. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh my God. And I was so excited. <laughs> Did y'all shot months ago? Oh, that's hilarious. And I said, excuse me, I paid $50,000 <laughs> for this tent. It will be superb. <laughs> By the way, we're now past stuff that we've seen, so we're back into reacting. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, hey, I was going to buy a house, but I was I went to this concert instead. Can you help me? You know, because you only live once. You know, yeah. I'm a millennial, <laughs> you know. Avocado on toast and sixty thousand dollars on a <laughs> music festival <laughs> instead of college. That's apparently what's happening. Who are yeah, I'm getting more mad about the people who are going to this now that I'm thinking about it. I'm like, none of my friends, every single one of my friends is in so much debt. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I do not understand this. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. Hey, it's in three days. You're posting about it's in three days. How are you getting me there? Problems now. Got problems now, Billy. <laughs> He's just asking that dude. I haven't slept in 18 days, Billy, but yeah, I'll do that for you, pal. Yeah, I think it's just like if this dude's going to keep paying us, we'll just keep taking this check. Yeah, or we haven't been paid yet, so let's keep working. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I thought he was going to say scream angrily. <laughs> Dude, if if it was two days before and he was saying something like that to me, I'd be like, oh, no, I'm staying. I got to yeah. see. Yeah. If, I, if I went through all this, I want to see it all burn down yep. at this point. I'm going to walk out on the day this company closes. Yeah.
Oh my Whoa. god. Fuck off. Oh, you're still doing yoga. Yeah. <laughs> you're still going to do it, buddy. Yeah. You're still really good at yoga, man. <laughs> we still need you. <laughs> Dude, you're, you're the only one that's actually there that we advertise. Yeah. So. We haven't seen Ja Rule in three months. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god. Can you imagine the anxiety, man? I put on shows sometimes. I was about to say. And I have so much anxiety about yeah, the shows. Yeah, I was I was about to say you booking stuff. Oh man. Yeah, did those two guys just hang out on a yacht the entire time? I guess, man. Oh, it's going to be so cool. <laughs> Whenever they come see their tents and nobody performing. Oh, please, what is this? I want to hear. <laughs> nah. What'd you have to do, Andy? I think that's Andy. What? Oh, I've heard about this. I just totally forgot. What? 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 Chase, what? Are oh, you hearing it? Yeah, this is one of the few things I did actually know. What the? F what are you telling me right now? Yeah, bro. Are you telling me? What? He's, what? He asked his friend. What? That's not a friend. To that suck is not dick a friend thing. For $100,000, $180,000 worth of water. Did he know? Was he like known for being really good? <laughs> I have <laughs> for no idea. $100,000? Wait, what? No. <laughs> I like this no shame in his game though. Yeah. Like he's like I mean I was going to suck his dick. I was going to <laughs> I think I was ready for him to just go on about how it was like a really difficult and traumatizing experience, but it kind of seems like it was, he was like in cool party mode. <laughs> <laughs> well, the people are going to be here soon. I might yeah. as well start sucking dick. It's going to be a party soon, right? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, get started off. Yeah. Pour some water on my head. Let's go. Yeah, we're going to christen this party <laughs> early on. Champagne against the hole, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right. You got some sand? That's kind of impressive. <laughs> got a stage and some sand. Yeah. That's better. Where's that pilot at? <laughs> 
Oh, he been gone. Yeah. I'd love if he fly back over during that. <laughs> Just take a piss on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it not working? Was the dick you sucked? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> it's not even about the dick. <laughs> it's if I had to perform any sexual act for my job, yeah, I would not No. Man. <laughs> Just no. Hold on. That's a line. I was doing yoga. <laughs> really well. Real good at it. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Yes. This happens every time I do a cruise and we go to these na- nice islands and everyone's texting me, oh, you got to go over the beach. Just pissing rain every time. It's hilarious. All these people on vacation just like, no. no. Oh, man. That's hilarious. Oh, wow. You guys know you can quit, right? Well, I mean, you know, the whole money thing you were saying. Oh, mm-hmm. that's true. Yeah, they got them too. What a bunch of bastards. You are saying 70% of his money is like once the day it comes, uh-huh. you know. But that's the th- that's that mindset I was telling you earlier. If I get this close, I want to see, I want to see the shit hit the fan. Wait, did that guy not have to suck the dick? I I think no, he didn't suck the dick. He didn't suck the dick. No, that's what he was saying. He was saying that he totally was going to. That's what he was laughing about. Oh, yeah. Okay, because when he said that part, I lost my mind. Yeah, because <laughs> then he was going to actually do that. Uh, no, I I missed what he said. How he got away with it, but he was saying that he was gonna do. It. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm influenced. Who? (laughs) I mean, I'm surprised there's a plane. I've taken that plane. <laughs> oh yeah, there. Oh man, I, you I've ever heard, you ever been low low economy class? They're so rich and stuff that oh that they can just fit. Oh, that's so funny. The thing about putting a festival together is that it's all the small things. <laughs> 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 That's what happened here. We have talked a long just let me give you guys a speech about why this didn't work. Work sucks, I know. <laughs> you put the, just a bunch of that sprinkled in. Shut up. Is it 25 minutes? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> nope. I like they just brought him somewhere else first. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so fucking funny. I just tricked him into it. That lady's just like, oh. Oh, they don't know yet. (laughs) Oh, of course. It's raining. Oh, 
God. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, uh, the rain fucking it up. So oh, that was amazing. I forgot about the rain. The beds are all wet. They they didn't deserve for it not to rain. No, no. Uh, they yeah. deserve snow, dude. Yeah. As they're showing up. We need to find them houses. Now. Just start giving them booze. That's so funny. Yeah, she's like, yeah, I don't have. <laughs> yeah, would you believe that I didn't put this on? Would you? You know, I just live here, right? Yeah. And they dropped you off in my restaurant. Oh man, let's see. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Oh, these idiots. <laughs> Bus driver's like, you guys are fucked. There's nobody from the private. That's so uh, funny. Yeah, <laughs> Bus driver's <laughs> like, yeah, you guys. Uh, you idiots. He's like, I don't even, I'm not even a bus driver. I just wanted to see what you guys look like when you <laughs> found out. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's so funny that you're saying turn around. Our villas. Just laughing. Not me. You have a house over there. But <laughs> you're staying there. Imagine being fifty thousand dollars into this and then seeing that. Idiot. We're <laughs> just standing around. So who wants to take some Molly, huh? Yeah. Anybody want fuck? Acid sounds like a good way to get through this. <laughs> Just blast the music. <laughs> oh, he's still fucking it up. Oh, hey, Billy. Oh, my God. They didn't even give him numbers. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> At least you're on the ship. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that island. <laughs> I want to speak to Ja Rule. Where is Ja Rule? <laughs> Why 
What? Why? Oh, because they're all assholes. <laughs> I forgot. Of course. <laughs> that makes it so much better. Yeah, they're rich people. That's the only thing they yeah. know how to do. It's just they're like, well, I got to take care of myself. So yeah. let me take all the beds around me because I don't want people around me. You see, I will sell this toilet paper for twenty dollars a roll. I will make money on this trip. <laughs> There's no light. Oh, this is the... I love this. Oh, this makes me so happy. Good. Oh, man. That must just happen nonstop. Anarchy. Does that mean more people are coming or Yeah. Everybody having a good time? Oh my god, this is great. <laughs> I was wondering why they were talking to him so much. Yeah. Oh, amazing. That. Cheese sandwiches, bro. Oh, yeah, man. that picture was everywhere. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, of course. Oh, dude, I remember this so Yeah. <laughs> I remember this now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's April, of, you know, it's not even a year ago. Still working. Oh, that dude. No. <laughs> He'll say everything's going great. Yeah, me, imagine being 23 and being like, your music festival's not happening because I canceled the X. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I mean, dumb. maybe so you should have thought about it a little bit sooner, bro. Yeah. Just a man that never thought bad things could happen to him. You idiots. <laughs> we didn't do a good job. Oh my 
god, amazing. Sounds like bro. Yeah, man. Which is bros. Just douche bros. Yeah. Oh, it has to be amazing. Oh, dude, you ain't getting that money back. Yeah, you dummy. Remember at the very beginning of this when it was like Billy crying to his mom like, I think you're going to go to prison. <laughs> it's like, yeah, dude, you go to prison. What's <laughs> that, <laughs> Ron? <laughs> no one even performed. I sucked his dick. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it if you did. <laughs> Time to pay up, bro. It's payday. It is payday. <laughs> no, man, earlier they made it sound like they got paid up front. Yeah, see, that's what I was saying. Yeah. They meant they were getting paid. That's how scams usually work. Nobody gets paid. Yeah. Yeah. Dang, dude, look at you, just having to take it. I'm the yoga guy. <laughs> you know what uh, really relieves stress, I find? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I do know, man. Oh, that was so great. He's just like, they came and hired me, and then the B left. <laughs> just left. Oh man, that dude. <laughs> oh man. There's rich dicks jumping on assholes and getting no uh, jumping on airplanes and getting out of there. They fucking flew away. Damn, fuck off. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's smart. I feel you, man. Yeah, that guy, he fucked so many people. Shut up. <laughs> I'm so tired of this dude. <laughs> yep. Man. Y you did. wrong? Did you feel incorrect? Oh, 
Oh, this poor kid. Don't Jeez. say probably. You did, man. Gee Willie. What? So early on. You don't do the social media campaign before you've done it. Shut it down. <laughs> Talk about it, Josh. Uh. Oh, please, Josh. You were trying to say, well, like, some cell phones exploded. Yeah, and also Samsung had did something correct first. Yeah. And then we went, okay, I mean, it was their seventh phone that blew up. Yeah. There were six models before that were okay. <laughs> you guys, Fry Festival number one. <laughs> yeah. Blew everybody's face off. You were dipshits right off the bat. Yeah, you should have stopped at the booking idea. Damn. No, Chow was gonna say no. Chow, why are you speaking so much? What? Oh man. Yeah. Everybody, everybody, let that sit for a second. Yeah. Yeah, it was out of their it was out of their hands. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't blame you guy hired to shoot the commercial that doesn't. Yeah. You just took a gig. You did a good job with it too, man. <laughs> yeah, you killed it, man. You yeah. might have ruined them. You did such a good job.
They didn't appreciate how deep the fraud went. Oh, you dickhead. Uh, I was just hoping you'd want to hang out with me still. But how did you think this was going to end? You know what I mean? Everybody, I ratted immediately. Yeah. I, I called them up. I said, <laughs> I said uh, everyone hates you when you're 23. Uh, fist bump, bro. That was a trusting fist bump. Yeah, that's brutal. To, to fist bump someone like that and then have them turn around and fist bump you right in the back. Mm. She's a leading candidate for MVP of this. Yeah, she's my uh, favorite. Yeah. She's like, oh, so on top of fucking me, you're fucking me? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, fuck. What? Whoa. Uh. Yeah, he's just shifting money around everywhere. And just keeps swimming and drinking, huh? You know who this guy reminds me of is the man who would be Polka King? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. It's the same type of idea. I mean, it's just on such a huge, huge scale. Oh. 
Uh, well, let me hear what else she has to say. But. Uh, th there is like a GoFundMe for her out there that raised oh, thank God. money for her and stuff. Hey, how about that? Knew a little bit, of, a little research. Yeah. I mean, it's just looking on Twitter, but <laughs> <laughs> scrolling past and seeing it. Yeah, of oh course. My God. Oh, is that it? <laughs> Just walking around. <laughs> That's the other millennial I was talking about, by the way. He's both. Yeah, he just became the other kind. Yo... Yeah. Uh, Jaro, where are you? Uh. Yeah, that's what I learned. <laughs> oh, man, did he start scamming once he got out again? Uh. That's all he knows how to do. Just keep doing it. Oh man. <laughs> Which is it? Guess what guys, it was always he was insane. It was never that he was a genius. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> what a tiger? They're like, all right, this is a bunch of dummies. How is he trying to scheme tickets again? But he's he was never smart, dude. He literally just charged that those mm -hmm. tickets didn't pay for him. He just lied. He was just a liar. Yeah. He was just he just kept lying and could convince people to give him money based on his lies. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh my god, this is still happening? This is still going? See, I don't know about this part. 
I love that it's the Fry Festival people. Some of them fell for two things. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa. What an idiot. Fucking Jesus. Man, he really is just super dumb. Dude, just hustling. Look at you hustling. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, dude, I'll put on your failed company's merch. I got two examples right on. And I was just manipulating this guy? Oh, oh my God. I mean, what do you think is going to happen after that? Like, yeah, it's all right. Sneeze. I'm allergic to bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody broke his arm. Oh man, I hate this guy so much. Everybody picks up set. <laughs> no, this one's actually bad, don't <laughs> What is what an idiot. Right. Just doing like the same thing. Yeah, he's an idiot. Oh, wow. Yeah, that can't happen to me. I'm Billy. <laughs> you know. Shucks. Golly, Billy. Gosh darn, Bill. <laughs> you goofed up. <laughs> Just That's making goofs. Oh, you're such a goof, Billy. <laughs> With billions uh, of dollars. Oh, I goofed again. <laughs> yeah. Just keep $35 million dollar goof. I just keep lying to people. They give me $100,000. This is hilarious.
Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I could see that being a huge deal. Is that Santa Claus? Damn right Santa Claus is there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Prison, buddy. I hope this ends with him in prison. I want to see a photo. Send him to jail. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, dude. Oh, it's a matter of time. Billy McFarlane was sentenced six years of federal prison and agreed to a lifetime ban on serving as a corporate officer or director. Oh, thank God. Ja Rule partnered with... <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, nothing happened to Ja. Yeah, you're never going to collect that yeah, $5 million. Yeah, you ain't getting that, bro. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, my Whoa. God. Oh, dude, I hated that. Oh, man. I can't wait to watch the other one. Oh man! So the other I, one, so the other one's like more from his perspective. The other one has him actually talking in it. Okay, like interviews with him. Oh so, man, I can't wait to see. Yeah, that. so we get to actually hear a little bit more of his point of view. Jesus, and, yeah. that was crazy. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I, can't I wait lost for my that mind episode. several times during that entire thing. Uh, dude. Yeah, that was a insane. Was, um. Well, damn, man. Uh, yeah, I guess that's the word, baby. Bird. That's the word, baby. Bird. Yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, come back uh, next time. I mean, next week, I think we're gonna watch the other ones. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do the one next. I gotta edit this one a bunch because I goofed it up. But uh, real goof there, yeah, Bill. Yeah, I've been used. I said goof <laughs> a lot on this one too. I gotta edit those out. <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, thanks everybody. Catch you next time. That was a great party. <laughs>